Hi, I'm Doug from Global West. I thought I'd take a minute here to talk to you about these lower control arms here we have on the table. These happen to be for 1967 through 69 Camaro, Firebird, and 1968 through 74 Nova, Ventura, and there's actually a couple others in there as well. This happens to be our drag race package. These are our TLC79H. The H is for a coilover application. Let me show you the differences here between a stock lower control arm and these in a coilover app. Here we have a stock lower control arm. I'm going to tilt it up here for you. And this is normally where the shock goes right here. And of course the spring pocket is right here. Well, when you do a coilover application, and I happen to have one here, you're going to be mounting the shock on top of the lower control arm. So it's going to go in this particular area right here. It bolts directly to where the shock is. Okay. Well, in a drag race environment, what we want to do is there's a potential of wheel stands or what have you, all right? And so what we want to do is beef that lower control arm up a little bit. That's why we go to a tubular arm. We put a special bump stop on it. And what we're also going to do is we're going to add a doubler system to where this shock mounts. So if you notice on here on our control arm, we've got this plate that comes through here, but we also got a doubler in here as well. And that's the support where the shock is. Because the shock, this, this particular shock now has got the spring that goes to it. So all the load is going right through the center point. Where on a stock control arm right here, the spring is all the way to the outside out here, and the shock is just dampening the spring. Here, everything is going right through these points. So you understand now why we want to run a doubler through here. This particular control arm also features a special bushing we use for drag racing only. It allows this control arm, and once you bolt this on the frame, torque it to 70 foot-pounds, this arm will literally fall. There's no resistance. In the old days, what we used to do is you'd take the stock rubber bushings or whatever, and you'd loosen the bolts up, and, and that's how you got the arm to drop. The problem is, is when that happens, you have a lot of deflection that goes on in the control arm something you don't really want to have, you know, doing 100 plus down the straights. So this particular product with the, that we have here controls that movement. Once you bolt this down, this arm is a straight up and straight down application. It's not doing this. So it actually makes the front end more stable. This also has a special bump stop. This particular bump stop here is a rising rate bump stop. So instead of having something come down, like if you do a wheel stand, you come down and you hit the frame with your bump stop, you get this really hard impact. Well, this one here actually is a progressive. So for every quarter of an inch, it increases resistance by 100 foot-pounds. So instead of you hitting the frame hard, it's going to roll off of it. The load is going to be applied, rate's going to go up, and it's going to allow you to cushion off that rather than being such a rigid, rigid hit. And of course, being a tubular arm, it's going to be able to withstand that a lot better than it is going to be a stamped in reference to the wheel stands and bottoming out. Another feature we have here, you'll notice another hole right here. Certain frames on these particular vehicles, the bump stop moves from either the front of the control arm to the back. Depends on what frame you have. So we have provisions in the control arm, so when we ship it, let's say the bump stop where we on your particular frame is in the opposite position, all you do is unscrew this, put it to the other side, and you're back in business. Ball joints are included. It comes assembled, ready to go. It's an easy bolt-on. It's designed specifically for a coilover, and everybody's coilovers fit that runs a T-bar. Doesn't matter what brand it is. Drops right in. Part number, TLC79H. If you're running a drag car, running coilover, this is something you should consider.